Artist TV. I am your host, the wise guy. I'm joined by my group of co-hosts. What's good, brothers? What up? What up? Uh, today we're gonna be discussing the Feel Like Hill uh, t- anime that came out this this past anime season. And I gotta say, at first when I started watching it, I wasn't really up on it, but uh, I kept with it. And that show is probably one of the best animes that have come out recently. Uh, so today we're going to do a, a, a full series review of Kill Out Kill. We have some people who have watched it all. We have some people who haven't watched it all. And hopefully, uh, you know, we can give a lot of different perspectives of this the anime. I enjoyed this, this series in its entirety. Uh, initially, it wasn't my cup of tea because I'm not into this. I'm not into funny anime. I'm not into... Uh, humorous anime, and this definitely has a lot of humor to it, but uh, it's definitely action-packed. So it is a it is a battle manga, uh, uh, so to speak, or battle anime, and that, that's a cool thing. And it's centered around uh, female characters, but you have to know going in, this is like as close to hentai as a as an anime can get without actually being hentai. Right. So. But like the main character, her name is Ryoko, and basically this this series follows Ryoko, and she's on a, a revenge mission to uh, avenge her father's death. Uh, she has a weapon that is a, a a half of a scissor blade, and it is a giant ass scissor, and uh, it's a cool it's a cool looking weapon. So she goes to this school as a, a transfer student, and then uh, from there, like just trouble ensues and she gets introduced to like what is presented to everybody as the series antagonist. Um, her name is Sasuke and um, she is the president of the school's discipline uh, committee and she like kind of oversees everything that happens at this school. Uh, so uh, the thing that makes this series kind of interesting is that, that there's these uniforms that give the, the wearers powers and they're called Goku uniforms. Oddly enough, Goku giving you power. Uh, I think I think that was an intentional thing. Uh, so uh, these suits give people power, and uh, Ryoko has to fight against them in order to get the, the truth about her father's death. So anyway, we go through and everything, and you see a bunch of battles, and eventually Ryoko herself gets a a, a Goku uniform, but it can talk, and it's called Senketsu. So uh, this Senketsu uh, Goku uniform gives her amazing abilities, and it really kind of just ups the ante. So, anyway, I'm going to pass it around to you guys, and I want you to tell me how you feel about it. <clears throat> no, so, no, uh, Thomas, let's start with you. Star. Alright. I hated it. <laughs> what? You hated it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't like it. Uh, Why? The, the plot... The plot oh, was he keep it in the straight face. <laughs> The the plot was fucking stupid. Like uh, clothing from outer space that wants to take over the planet. What the fuck? Uh, I hated it. Like the best thing <laughs> I liked about it was the one um, fight scene between uh, Ryoko and the school president. Like that was the best fight. That was like like the last fight wasn't even that dope. Like uh, I just I wasn't feeling it. I hated the animation. And I, I really didn't like the anime style. I, I was I wasn't a fan of it at all. Okay, okay. <clears throat> um, Philip, let me let me know what you what you thought about it. Um, well, I'm about eight episodes from the finale. Uh, thus far, I mean, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Um, it's got the right mix of humor. Fan service and action. Uh, I like that first style. Um, I mean, really, it's kind of unprecedented. I don't know if you could really. Well, this shit is like Tenchi Muyo on crack or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really fucks with it. Um, you know, the music is dope. 
And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward uh, to reaching the conclusion at some point in life, because I don't know when I'm going to watch that shit, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Genesis, what you think about it, bro? All right, I'm the complete contrast of Thomas. I'm the complete opposite, bro. I thought it was dope all the way through. Like I dig, I dig humor anime because like the first anime that I was brought up on was Rama One and a Half. So, like I dug so you can the whole. It from the huh? I said so you, so you can appreciate it from the get go. Yeah. Okay. Like opening episode, I was like, oh, this is gonna be dope, and I marathoned that shit one weekend. And I was not disappointed. I just like I I dug all the fight scenes. I think there's like one filler episode. To me, to me, it was like one episode that was just filler that they could have done without. But right. one out of twenty four, that's still pretty decent odds. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Clint, tell me what you thought about it, bro. Man, I thought this was like. <laughs> this anime was directed by people with massive ADHD, man. This this anime was just nuts, and it was so hard to really adjust to the <clears throat> randomness of the of the you know direction. I mean, it looked like Michael Bay had a huge hand in this. There was explosions, ass and titties. I mean, you just like, oh my god! But right, it's like a Michael Bay production. Yeah, it was just like, it was so over the top, and I loved it. I loved it because it was like in its own island. You know what I mean? Like, I can't think of any anime that says, like, man, that's so like Kill a Kill. Kill a Kill is like its own league, good or bad. Yep, and, I agree with that. I and, you, agree with that. and you really can't, like, like you know, <clears throat> Stardegger said, like, he didn't like it, but I mean, you know, it's not meant to be taken serious. It was really, I mean, it's just a funny anime. Animation's pretty good, I think. I can see where you wouldn't like it, though. It's really like, take it or leave it. But Hey, I loved it. I thought the uh, story was great. And, uh, uh, yeah, there you go. All right. So I just want like, to like touch base on w what you said, Stardagger. Like, I feel like what anime isn't far-fetched? Like, yeah, like, we've gotten... Con over time that anime is going to be about far-fetched things. It's going to be crazy and out there to begin with. So, I mean, look at Akira. Akira is like god of anime as far as most people feel, and it is about as far-fetched as you can get. And, I didn't like and that was good. Uh, <laughs> Akira is I, I, know hey, I know that you don't care for Akira particularly, but I'm just saying, like, in, in general, like, most themes in anime are going to be out there. So, uh, whenever you deal with anime, you need to suspend disbelief for that moment. So, you know, uh, and kind of like what uh, Clint is saying, it, it's not meant to be taken seriously, though. You know, I watch anime or whatever. I don't watch anime expecting, you know, realistic stories. Some of the ones I like have pretty, you know, close to reality stories. But I don't expect realistic stories. I just wasn't feeling this particular story. It has nothing to do about yeah. the the realism, the realnessism. You know, the realness, it don't have anything to do with that. It's all about the fact that I thought it was stupid. <laughs> you know, I can, I can appreciate comedy. I can appreciate I just thought it was stupid. That's all. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, I can respect that. All right. So, oh, oh, oh. Oh, what's, what's up, Ron? What's up? What's up? Oh, God. What's up? <laughs> 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 Okay, Yo. what's going on? Alright, Ryan. You came at the perfect moment. So, first of all, did you finish the series or no? I finished Kill a Kill, yes. Uh, okay, great. So, uh, go ahead and give us your opinion on Kill a Kill. Um. Oh, your camera. Are you taking out the tie, so it must, it must be serious. He get naked. Hey, yeah, hey, hey. Was, don't be on that new album. Hey, he, hey, he's paying homage to the show. He's paying homage to the new <laughs> college. He's about to put his Goku suit on. <laughs> All right. Great. Um, it was too much fan service for me. For me personally. Okay. It was way too much fan service. So you um, huh? I was going to say, you didn't dig all the, uh, the in-school... Uh, 
uh, things that were going on between characters? Uh, I mean, I guess, I, I guess, but you know, a lot of people were trying to compare it to Gary Lagan. And I mean, you really can't compare it. I mean, I kind of see similarities, but you know, um, it's 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 just too much fan service for me personally. But 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 it still was good. Okay. It was good. All right. So I mean, like specifics. Anything like specifically that you liked about it or didn't like? I mean, you you already said you didn't like the service. Right. Right. What did you think? uh, I like the plot twist. The plot twist. Oh shit! No spoilers, son. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> you don't have to go into details. It's a plot twist. It's a plot twist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. The plot twist. I just say the plot twist was unexpected for me, and especially with the main character. Yeah. Especially with the main character. That's the. I, I was gonna say. So let me just kind of uh, touch on what Clint said. Clint said you can't put this. In, in the realm of other uh, anime, and I agree with that. Kill La Kill is on its own platform, and, and we talked about um, what was it? Um, Samurai Flamenco not too long ago, right. and we mentioned that it, it doesn't hold all the tr- that everything else does, or more or less, it's a parody of all the other anime that's out there. Right. Uh, Kill La Kill te- definitely tends to Stray away from those those type of tropes. I mean, you have your, your pervy people or whatever, but like I'm saying, for the most part, it definitely does things on its own accord. Okay. Um, the other thing is, uh, Ron just mentioned that people compare it to Gurren Lagann, which is another uh, popular anime series that was done by the same creators, Trigger. And I was I was I was remiss to uh, uh, for not mentioning that earlier. Uh, Trigger is the company that produced Kill La Kill, and they also did other uh, well-known and well-loved series like Gurren Lagann. Right. Um, I don't think this this holds the candle to Gurren Lagann, though. I, I don't think this holds up against Gurren Lagann. Gurren Lagann was probably a better anime overall. Uh, I felt like the ending for this was about as good as it's going to get, but still a little bit lackluster. I kind of wanted more out of the ending. Okay. So, um, for those who have watched it through its entirety, how did you feel about the ending? Did you feel the ending was fitting? And I'm going to start in reverse order this time. Clint, I'm going to start with you, and then we can work our way down. Our way down. Uh, yeah, I felt like the ending was, you know, pretty good. Like, I mean, you wanted to see. I can't spoil. Dang it. Um, see, that's the thing. Um, you can't go into depth with it, like you. No, to... we're gonna get, we're gonna get to a spoiler portion of the review, and then at that point, you know, our our, our homie Philip, who hasn't watched it, he can he can, uh, like, say, "Yo, all right, I'm gonna step out for a second. But uh, for now, just go ahead and tell me what you thought about the ending without keep it spoiler free. Um, uh, I thought it like I thought, I thought like it wrapped everything up like I wanted it to, you know. Uh, I wanted to see <clears throat> the um. Uh, our hero and spoiler. Wait, 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 shit! Let me just mute my fucking. I wanted, I wanted to see them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wanted just to see them together at the end. It's cool. I wanted to see, you know, a lot of things I wanted to see in the end happen for me. So I was, I was satisfied. When I got done with it, I could sit there and say that was a complete anime for me. But I mean, you know, it's a satire in its own, you know, of all the. Battle manga genres. It's obvious, you know. Uh, right. But yeah, man, it's, I thought it was great. Okay. Uh, Jan, what did you think? Did you think the ending was apropos? It was. Uh, I mean, it, it fit. There was no real other way for it to have ended because of the simple fact, like, there is a. It was the resolve that completed. That pretty much brought the story complete circle. Mm-hmm. And that pretty much, like, if you. The way it ended it, it was definitive. Like, a sequel to Kill I Kill Now would just be dumb after that ending. Okay. I, I can dig that. I, I can hear that. Ryan, what do you think about the ending? Well, you know, like everybody else said, you know, the ending was good. I, I really didn't enjoy it, especially we got we got closure to uh, certain, certain aspects within the anime. But here's the thing, though. I think there is going to be a season two of this anime. There is right. going to be a season two. I just don't know where they're going to go from 
from this point on. From the I'm, I'm looking at Star. I'm looking at Star Decker face, and he just like. <laughs> yeah, what? Right. He's like, oh, oh, he's like, like why? <laughs> Right. No, but when I, when I talk, you understand why I, I look that way. Yeah, he was okay. like, what? Are you serious? No, no, but seriously, uh, they, they are going to probably make a season two. Um, I just don't know where they're going to go with it and how many episodes it's going to be. Okay. All right. Uh, Star Dagger. Now, I, I, agree with, I agree with Jen and Clint. Like, I thought that the ending was... It was a good ending. Like, I thought it ended the way that it was supposed to end. And the reason I made the face is because, like Jen said, like, why? Like, what is the reasoning for uh, a, a season two? Like, I feel like it did exactly what it's supposed to do. I don't feel like it needs – I mean, you know, it could be a completely new story or something like that, you know. But I feel like – when you watch an anime, you watch it for a particular reason, or even a TV series, you watch it for a particular reason, and that's that. You know, you get your you get your ending when the end is done. You know. Okay, so chime and, in. Go ahead. Um, so sometimes the fa- fans can take over a series, and they could definitely you know push the series longer than what it's supposed to be. Well, and I think this is probably one, I think this is probably one of those series where you know it's not necessarily the fact that they want to make a season two. But there's so many fans of the series that their their hands is forced, so to speak. Right. And they may have uh, season two. Yeah, and you know what? That's not always a good thing. Because exactly. then you got somebody that forces an episode, and now we're left with the Wizards Jordan of a series. Right. 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 And then you get Wizards Jordan. And the highlight of Wizards Jordan was he went ham in an all star game. Like nobody even talks about that nigga, yo. (laughs) (laughs) It's like people forget that existed. (laughs) Everybody wants to because Wizards Jordan is a bad stain on the legacy. (laughs) And I feel like a season two of Kill I Kill would be Wizards Jordan. Well, I just think, I mean, I mean, I mean personally, I, I think Kill a Kill was just overhyped for me. I, know, I, think so, I, I, I think it was, I think it was overhyped. Like, Attack on Titans was an actually good, it was an actual good series. It was an actually good series. But in terms of Kill a Kill, I mean, this, the, the story was okay, but I think it was popular due to the, the fan service, because that's what everybody was talking about. <laughs> yeah, I, I, can agree with, I have to agree with Ron a little bit because like, like a lot of Kill a Kill's popularity came from the fact that people were just glomming to the shock value of it. Um, not to say that it didn't it didn't like deliver every episode. Like I felt every episode for the most part delivered. Like there was there was a cool battle every episode. There was some humor. Like everybody's favorite character is Mako. If you didn't like Mako, I mean, I don't know many people who didn't like Mako the best. Like, Mako as a character was hilarious. I never laughed watching the anime until Kill Kill I Kill. I swear to God. Actually, I take that back. I've laughed a few times on One Piece, but for the most part, I've never laughed at an anime until I Kill. And that was because of Mako. But, like, aside from Mako, like, all of the fan service, like, when you start getting up to episode 16, 17, and 18, really people were talking about, like, the shock value that came from some of the 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 things that were going on with um, with Sasuke's mother. Like, Ragio. Ragio as a character. Man. Um, all right, so... The other thing is, too, like, this show did have a huge popularity, but, like, if you compare it to, like, a, 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 the other best anime of this season, which is uh, Attack on Titan, then it doesn't hold... Um, I, I don't think it holds up against Attack on Titan. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I feel like this is more colorful, more flavorful, more funny, more action packed. I mean, it, it, it may be a broader range, but, like, Attack on Titan is just a better story overall. Now, as for it getting a, a follow-up season or whatever, or or maybe an additional entries to this series, they did kind of leave it open at the end. So there is a possibility that there could be another season. I hope they don't because uh, kind of like uh, if our boy Bang was here with us, he'd say, "You live long, you know, long enough to see yourself become a villain." You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want that to happen to you. And so. Yo, yo, 
But I'll say this. I, I, I'll say this. I, I know I'll be crucified. For I guess we can wrap this up without having to go into spoilers. We don't have to. Overall, I thought the series was was dope. Uh, I didn't like the humor aspect of it at first. It, it, it's also very fast-paced. So if you're not used to that pace, you really have to adjust yourself to that pace. Um, but overall, like the, the characters are like well fleshed out over these 24 episodes. Uh, some enough twists and turns happen that you can actually get to be taken by surprise. And, um, like, if you enjoy fan service and things like that, you're going to enjoy it. If you like really good battles, you're going to enjoy it. If you like, you know, colorful and well-done animation, you're going to enjoy it. Uh, otherwise, you know, like, the plot can be, you know, eh, at times, but, like, otherwise, it's just a dope series. Um, so, <clears throat> so, we'll go ahead and wrap that up. Uh, what you guys thought about Kill Lock Kill. Who was your favorite character? What was your favorite moment? What was your favorite scene? Like, you know, what did you dislike or not like about it? You know, post that down in the comment section below, and then we'll we'll get back at you later. <laughs>